Welcome to Switch for 5 Minute Tutorials, a series of short videos aimed at helping you get the most out of using the Apple iPad to control your Mic Air's design sensory room. In this first video, I'd like to take you on a quick tour of the Switch 4 app, which can be downloaded free from the App Store. Before we go any further, I want to clarify a couple of terms that will be used throughout this series. You'll be aware of the distinction between a tap and a press on the iPad, so bear these in mind when I state tap here or press here. A press in this context generally means to touch something for half a second or so. Also note that these videos demonstrate landscape mode, but the app fully supports portrait mode. With that said, let's launch the app and tap the icon now in the centre of the screen, the equipment library. The left view shows information about the current state of the app, such as connections to your Switch 4 Wi-Fi base. You'll notice here at the moment we don't actually have a connection. We'll come back to that in a minute. A menu of support items. Helpful hints on the current interface. On the right is a grid of icons which represent all equipment designed and sold by MyCare's design and capable of being controlled by the app. There are two categories of equipment, Switch 2 and Switch 4, the latter being recognisable by a yellow badge in the bottom right corner. We'll cover both in more depth in future videos, but if you have a working familiarity with the equipment, Switch 2 represents the wall-mounted sockets in your room and Switch 4 is for things like bubble tubes, and colour wash lights, and other LED or fibre optic fixtures. Let's have a look at the various options for controlling Switch 2 equipment. Tap the bubble creator icon. On the left we set two parameters, the socket number and the switch operation mode. The socket number should match that of the socket on the wall. Operation modes are latched, momentary and timed. On the right is a colour palette that allows us to choose a preferred switch colour. The default is blue. Audible switch sounds can be enabled or disabled by tapping on the speaker icon. The contextual help describes various aspects of the interface. Where an arrow is displayed, tap it to get more detailed help. Tapping the green button on the left takes us to the switching view a single switch in this case. Later on we'll see multiple switches. Tapping on the switch operates the equipment according to the selected operation mode. We'll cover switch operation in more depth in a future video. For now let's exit this view which we do by pressing in the top two corners simultaneously for at least half a second. Tap all equipment in the top left corner to go back to the equipment library and we'll have a quick look at switch 4. It's not important which equipment we choose, as all Switch 4 items are virtually identical, so we'll look at the ball pool, right next to the bubble creator. You'll no doubt have spotted some differences straight away. You won't see a socket number anywhere as Switch 4 doesn't require one. Instead, there are programs, some with associated parameters and colours. If we go to switching mode by tapping the green button on the left, you'll see the main difference between Switch 4 and Switch 2. Here, each switch is assigned a colour, as well as a behaviour, that is latched, momentary or timed. We can restrict or expand the selection of colours used simply by tapping on them. Tapping the default settings button resets the colour selection back to the standard eight colours. I want to go back to the equipment library briefly before we finish and talk about connecting to the Switch 4 Wi-Fi interface. This piece of equipment is required for connecting the iPad to your Mic Air's design sensory room. If your school or organisation has a Switch 4 sensory room installed, then one of these will probably have been included. I'm going to turn mine on now. Watch the yellow triangle on the left hand side. The good news is that iPad will automatically discover and connect to the Wi-Fi interface. So there's normally nothing to do on your part when you walk into your sensory room. If we exit the equipment library by tapping in the top left corner, we'll see a new icon which represents our Switch 4 Wi-Fi interface. In the next video, we'll see how to turn this into a studio, add equipment to it, 
and more on configuration and switch control.